Hey, hey, it's Dave from by the way on my IC2 server. Um, please bear with me. I have somewhat of a cold. That's why the videos have been behind. And also, obviously, because of, of Christmas. But um, I'm just going to show you around what's going on. Wondering what's using up electricity. But uh, here we go. Uh, the town has been coming along. We need two more people to make plots. They just haven't been on. And we have one... And dirt thing is stupid. Uh, we have one viewer on right now as a trial basis to see how it can handle the amount of people. This is his house. I uh, would like to get... I'm thinking about... Two to three more, possibly. Over here you can see our pumpkin farm. And uh, today I'm going to be working on a tree farm, a rubber tree farm, using the pumpkins as light, as you can see over there. But uh, just I'm going to show you around a couple of things first. All right, uh, what I did work on is I moved the quarry, and apparently this is how Casey likes his houses. Kind of strange, but basic needs. I have the quarry pumping into here. The basic building supplies. Um, up in the top floor of my house, I have uh, anything else that's not a standard building supply being pumped over there. As you can see, the quarry did find a nice obsidian lake. Now, if you come out here, these are just my four rubber trees. Be moving them. But I have this rail set up. And you can see the pipe goes alongside of it. Click the button. And we're going to head over to where the quarry has been replaced. It used to be up there on that hill. That's where it was. Uh, I didn't even let it finish digging. I moved it before it finished over there. But. That's because my mine is over here and it's just easier for me to pop out of my mine and refill it than to, ooh, don't roll away. There you go. Okay. Yeah, see, it's going right now. It's easier for me to pop out of my mine and refill the fuel than it is to run all over there, refuel, and then come back over here. So, just for convenience. Uh, this one I stopped because it was just basically just getting a constant obsidian because of the water and stuff down there. Let's see if we got any. Apparently, I got a transport pipe. I am out of fuel and I did not bring any with me. Awesome. But this is going. Oh, there's some right there. I'll go grab that right now. Uh, as you can see, I am using the diamond drill, and I'm using the bat pack. If any of you are using this combination of mods, that is an amazing combo. Uh, the diamond drill tends to run out of energy very quickly, but with the bat pack on, it's just ridiculous how long I can go without having to run back and recharge the bat pack. Something you should definitely look into if you're playing with these two mods at least. Need, I didn't want to wait for the quarry to grab that. Let's see if there's anything. There's a high abundance of chickens over here. Probably have to come over here and fence them in, farm them up. Have a secret plot of chicken farm. We have one in the workshop. Uh, I think Ryan tends to most of the time. He gathers up the eggs and then. Uh, makes baby chickens and then slaughters down the chickens to the point of only having ooh that hurt point of only having uh, like three or four chickens then lets them build back up seems to work decently enough now what I'm doing here is I'm just going over here to grab 
It's cold. I'm probably going to drop down there and grab that iron because that's a huge vein of iron right there. That I want. Burn through these real quick. As you can see, the drill is just, it's just lasting. Uh, also, uh, if any of you are watching any of my other LPs, the Ether mod got updated for, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but the dogs are going crazy downstairs. The Ether mod got updated for 1.0, so what I am going to do, oh, see there's Hooch, always in my videos. I'm going to do an install video for that, and then probably restart that, because the transferring those worlds over has been giving people trouble. Hooch has definitely found something to mark at. Look at this vein. Four different things in this one little spot. That's interesting. Okay. Gathered up a decent amount of coal. That's a short little trip. Look at that. I have to explore that. There's a lot of good stuff in there. Okay. Not exactly sure what he found to mark at, but he's definitely giving it the what for. Okay, let's go power up. What do I have 37. That's good for now. Come back and do more farming later. Focus of. Ooh. Today's video is going to be. focus of today's video is going to be creating my rubber tree farm because we really don't have a lot of them I just wanted to make sure that this quarry, show you the quarry first off and then make sure the quarry was properly fueled so it continues to go while I'm in the world right now but uh, yeah definitely going to be making a ether install uh, tutorial and then restarting my I'm gonna do this we'll run one it'll run longer and then I'm gonna restart my ether LP using 1.0 instead of 1.7.3 uh, because I'm not incredibly far into it now so I think it's not a bad place to restart and I will avoid like I did on the other one I'll avoid uh, showing you all of the grueling introductory stuff unless you want to see that where I'm trying to find obsidian and diamond so I can get to the, the nether to get the stuff to get to the ether. Uh, I can skip that and just start up right in the ether, which uh, I think is a little bit more interesting, but everybody has already seen all the other crap in the nether. All right, let me get all the stuff I need to get ready for building this farm, and then uh, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab some pumpkins, because I'm going to use those in the ground instead of the torches. Even though I, mean, I still have to use a torch for a jack o' lantern, but they just they put out a little bit more light than torches, and I can put them flush in the ground. Plus we have all these pumpkins. Why not use them? So I'm just grabbing these. And now uh, what I'm going to do is the best way to make the farms if you're like underground or don't want to climb to get all the wood is to limit their height to 8 blocks. I'm not going to do that because we're going to be oops, we're going to be outside anyway so it's not like it's going to matter. But uh, I'm going to keep the saplings about two apart. Uh, yeah. With two blank spots in between each one. That allows for uh, leaf growth and doesn't interfere with the other ones. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do out here is I'm going to extend this. Grab some saplings and start planting away. 
Uh, let me be right back once I have all this copstone planted or in place and uh, it'll save me some time for uh, you time for watching me do all this be right back okay so I've laid some cobble and as you can see our YouTube guest Kevin has logged on uh, this is the layout I'm gonna do I'm gonna continue it that way for a while uh, but you know, jack-o-lantern right next to a, a block ample space for probably too much space but I could probably put one more right here in the middle but enough space for <coughs> leaves to grow the problem is I have one layer here now the jack-o-lanterns need something underneath them or they won't uh, allow to be placed down so when I continue this on I'll be putting double layer uh, for the most part that works like that Somebody was over here messing up trees, stealing blocks. I think it was an Enderman. But we're looking for some saplings. So we can plant those. I think I just got one. Yep, there's one. Let's see if we can get four. Close out this video with four saplings planted. There's two. Now, the rubber trees are very important because they are used to make see rubber wire and uh, what you can do is you can tap them let me get my tap of me right there boop now I put that in the extractor and it will give me three rubber so very useful that's not a rubber tree these are just regular trees which we do need also but right now the point of this is to get rubber trees Oof. Okay. Now let's see if we can get some for my personal supply over here. How far apart are these guys? One, two, three, those are four apart. And they seem to be growing fine. Yeah, four apart. Maybe I'll add another row in there. Not getting any luck with this tree. Not want to give up any saplings. Well. Random number generator is not in my favor. One more. Oh boy. Okay. See if we can get one more. If three, yeah. Put a little ledge right there. this unlucky okay I guess we'll have to go with three that's fine for now I might have one in my house let me check now what is draining the power I don't know what's on be draining it. Apparently I don't have one. Oh well. Three's good. Three makes the point. <laughs> yeah, the pumpkins are already sprouting. Good. Okay. And switch 
those out. Rubber tree planted. Those were four apart. I guess it is four. That would be three. I could move this over. It's fine for now. And just because we have it, we'll plant a regular tree right there. All right, tree farm. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build up the wall around it and be back when they they grow. Uh, I'm gonna end the episode here because my nose is starting to get really stuffed up. Hard to breathe slash talk at the same time. So uh, thanks for watching. And like I said, I'm gonna have an Ether install video coming out very soon once I get a program that doesn't suck at recording the Windows desktop. Um, and then I'll be redoing that LP, so stay tuned for that. Uh, thanks for watching. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash keq for instant updates on when uh, videos are released. But uh, like always, good luck and have fun.